The very first card that you got is from Archangel Michael saying that the situation that you're in does not serve you. So it feels like some of you may be in some kind of a situation that's not working. If this resonates, release your attachment to the outcome. It could be that that's why it's not serving you. It could be that it's an okay situation in terms of what you're trying to accomplish, but it might not be working out because your focus is too much on the outcome. Uh, where I keep hearing, let go, let God, let go, let God. It's like you can do all you can do in any given situation as we co-create with spirit. You can do what you can do and then spirit does the rest. And so it could be that things may not be working right now in this situation with a focus too much on the outcome. In other words, trying to sort of manage too much of it. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So there again, it kind of confirms that it could be simply in your approach. So this is not saying that if you're working on some kind of project that, that the project doesn't serve you. It's saying that the situation doesn't serve you within the project, if that makes sense. For some of you it could be, but overall it feels more like about who you are in relation to the situation. You know, our state underneath any action that we take affects the outcome. If you're depressed and take an action, you're going to get a particular result. If you're happy and excited when you take that very same action, you're going to get a different result. So what they're saying overall in this reading is that your state is not serving you in terms of how the outcomes may be showing up in, a, in relation to your state that you're in as you take the steps that you're taking. I hope that makes sense. The situation will resolve itself, is what they're saying, if you let spirit step in. It will end fairly and justly if you allow, you know, let go of the outcome, um, you, you, the, where the, the one place where you have 100% control is on your state. That's where you have all the control, is on your state, underlying any action that you take. So the next card that comes up was to stay focused, stay focused on your state. You know, when this card came out, I wasn't sure what they what they meant by this, to stay focused. Because they just got done saying that the situation doesn't serve you. So how could, if it doesn't serve you, why would you stay, stay focused? Typically, when something isn't serving you, you let it go. What they're wanting you to let go is your object of focus. Let go of focusing on the outcome and instead focus on you as you take these steps towards what you're trying to accomplish. It's kind of deep, it's kind of intense. The spiritual law of attraction is coming up. This is again saying, you know, your state, your energy, your energy underneath the actions that you take will determine the outcome. That's what this is saying. So, so, so focus on instead, especially if things aren't working for you, if you're trying to get things done and they're just not working the way you're wanting them to, this could very well be why. Your focus is on the outcome instead of where it needs to be on your state underneath everything. Part of what you might be, mm, I don't know if fear is the word, Feel, fear feels like a very strong word, but this card is coming up here. Um, you are supplied for today and for all your tomorrows. This is about prosperity. This is about money. This is about resources. And so it could be that your state is coming from a place of lack as you take these steps to try to accomplish something where you're wanting an outcome to be, you know, a, a lot of wealth, for example. So maybe your focus is on the money or the, the outcome. That's just one example. Your focus could be on, for example, the money where you are in a state of lack. 
And so that's not going to work because of the law of attraction, because of the way energy and frequency and vibration and resonance works. It's not going to work. So if things that, if the steps you're taking are all the right steps and it's just not working, that could be why. So staying focused on your own state. <laughs> Take your power back. <laughs> Is the next card. Take your power back. Your power is in your state. That's where you have 100% control. That's where the outcome of your actions will shift. Setting your boundaries. Setting your boundaries about, you know, the, the, your, your divine, powerful self. Some of these things, now they're kind of wanting to rearrange the cards a little bit now because of the way this is playing out. So taking your power back, setting your boundaries. It's it's as if this lack, okay, so I'm gonna have, so bear with me here. It's as if for some of you, if you're coming from a state of lack, it's not just about money. That's just one example. It could be resources. It could be, um, you know, resources in terms of people people to help you with something you're trying to accomplish. It's, it's an underlying energy of lack, if this is the case. Take your power back. Take your power back by focusing on you. So what they're wanting to go to now is that this, this underlying state of lack could have been coming from your ancestors. It could be something that you carry from lifetimes from you know from your lineage and what they're saying is that it's time to let that go it's time to transcend that it's time to let that go <laughs> it's time to let that go it's not yours so for some of you it's not even yours especially if you're just carrying it from three lifetimes ago or three generations back you know that just you know ended up in your DNA but it's not even yours in this lifetime so let that go Take your power back and let that go. Set your boundaries and say, you know what, that's not mine. And so I'm not going to take it. I'm going to let that go now. This generational pattern stops with me. It's not mine. And letting it go. If it did happen in this lifetime, then you're going to take your power back. <laughs> Set your boundaries. Maybe this is something you learned from, from maybe this is something you learned from your childhood. Maybe you grew up, you know, sort of in a, in a sort of poverty situation or in a lack mindset within your family. And so again, you could say, you know what, I'm going to transcend this. It stops here. It stops with this generation. It stops with me. And it's time to do that. It's time to do that for you. It's time to do that for your next generations that come from you as well. It stops here, then it stops here, and it doesn't affect future generations. That's a beautiful thing. Wonderful, wonderful thing. As you take your power back and, and work on clearing that out, the next card that you get is to clear and shield. Clear it out. You know, let it go. Find ways that can help you let it go. Find ways that can help you let it go. Maybe to get clarity on it, you're getting the crystals. Crystals are really powerful. Crystals have a very pure, very high vibration, very high frequency, very high vibration. When you simply hold a crystal, you will, will synergize with that frequency. When you hold the crystal that's vibrating super high, which is the love frequency, is the highest, when you hold a crystal, you given enough time your body will adjust and and match the frequency of the crystal so find your favorite crystal and hold on to it for a bit while you clear and release and get clarity about about where this where this lack mentality or idea may have come from and so that you can let it go and transcend that as you go forward and also for future generations Okay, your debt's paid off. This one comes up, your debt's paid off. Maybe this is why they were talking about money. 
because you're getting this card. This card has a couple of meanings. It could be about money, um, but it can also be sort of this emotional debt of feeling like you're sort of indebted to kind of thing. It's like if you're, uh, especially with um, parents and children sort of relationships, we feel like on some really deep fundamental level, we feel like we owe our parents for our very life. You know, the fact that we're here because of them, we exist because of them on the human level. But your debt's paid off. You don't owe them, you don't owe them anything besides a bit of gratitude. You know, thank you for that I'm here. But that does not mean that you have to continue to carry the programming that came from them. That might also have been incorrect for them. Not working for them. Your debt's paid off, is what they want to say. You can let that go. It's part of this transcendence. Your debt's paid off. You don't owe anybody anything, especially emotionally. Perspective is coming from Mother Earth. Perspective and stillness. So get yourself in some stillness and nurture your heart space. Take care of your own heart space. Perspective. Perspective on the situation. Perspective on the idea that it can handle itself. It's time for you to take your power back and focus on yourself. Focus on taking you, on managing your state. Managing your state. Getting a perspective on, you know, how this, you know, your state may have come about. You know, where where's the root of it? Kind of thing. Where's the root of it? Perspective on this can really help you to let it go kind of thing to transcend it perspective and to help with perspective mother earth is saying to get yourself around some stillness just kind of be still and nurture your heart space getting back into who you are taking your power back from maybe possibly generations of beliefs that no longer serve you or the family, or future generations, but they're not serving you now. So, you know, getting yourself into a still place, taking your power back. Another way you can do that, and you get these, these three cards kind of come together, so I'll just hold them up. So we got the indigo and crystal children. You're really good with children. Did you guys get this? You guys get this card. It feels like a deja vu with this card for Leo. You're also getting a grandparent. So we have children and grandparents. This is somewhat connecting to this idea. Children and the grandparents, like generations kind of thing. Generations. And then the main card that kind of wanted to go on top of it is to play. Play is a really great way to get back in touch with yourself. It's a really great way to take your power back. It's just a play. Children can help with that. <laughs> Spend some time with some children. Spend some time with the wisdom of some elders that you trust. A grandparent could be any um, elder that feels like sort of a family member to you, like a family to you. Um, may or may not be in your lineage, but could feel like a grandparent to you. Uh, spend some time with them to get perspective on life. Okay, she wants to come over here. Spend some time with an elder that you trust that's very wise and just listen to them. Have some great conversations. Also, have some conversations with children. Listen to the children. They're amazing. They have so much to teach us. You know, just have some really great conversations with some children. And play. Play is so wonderful for opening your heart space and helping you to remember who you really are. Because as this card, as this reading kind of goes now into this final layer, it's, it's to be yourself. It's okay to be different. You're amazing. Express yourself. You, you, this one, especially a creative project, your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. And look at how creative she is. Her fancy red hat and her 
big wings and all that color and she's very unique right express your uniqueness just be yourself in the world well to be yourself you first need to know thyself and so part of that comes from spending time with children and, and elders and definitely some quiet time in stillness and play these are ways that to help you remember who you are what lights you up that you're not in a you don't need to be in a state of lack just because you learned that or just because it's in your DNA you can transcend that so expressing yourself and your creativity it's okay to be different just be yourself express yourself your soul is longing to do that is what they're saying and so some of this stuff above this this kind of thing this feels big but it also it, it, it's like this is at the root of you trying to control the outcome where that is up to spirit but it's like this is the underlying state that you're carrying maybe in your subconscious beliefs there's this subconscious idea of lack is at the root of your frequency and vibration that's causing you to then try to control more than you're able to and it's making it so that whatever you're trying to accomplish isn't working let go and let God it will be handled fairly the law of attraction is going to take care of that situation it's also going to take care of you when you get back into this kind of state so that then you know what your boundaries are in any situation and it's just so much easier to express yourself when you know who you are and when you get yourself in this state and then take actions towards your project from this state <laughs> From this state now when you take actions the law of attraction is going to bring about some very different results and as you let go and let God the results are just going to be absolutely in line with what you're wanting potentially a new career a new partner maybe marriage with this new partner maybe a better marriage or an improved marriage if you're already married your marriage could improve you might meet a new friend this partner idea could be a romantic situation you could meet someone that leads to marriage you could already be married but your marriage will just get so much better when you you know sort of honor your heart you follow your heart and um, express who you are and just be yourself in the world um, and then you could, might also have this new career might show up in the clarity of you know while you're expressing yourself being yourself and just playing in some way and or sitting in stillness you might get some really creative ideas on projects that you could start that could lead to a beautiful new career so again and this kind of wants to come back so again it's like it could it might be that the thing you're working on is not something that needs to go away it just could be that the state that your that your state as you take actions and move through this situation will change the way that things manifest for you regarding that situation that's one scenario for some of you for others it might mean that once you get clarity on who you are and you release this state of lack that that really doesn't serve you anymore and that d just does not interest you so much anymore but a new career does this partner could also be a business partner it could be a new best friend kind of thing a new partner in life really great things come when our state is in this kind of in this kind of energy self-acceptance it's okay to be different it's actually wonderful to be different especially nowadays it's great to be different nowadays so honor that 